The purpose of the IMO study was to assess the clinical value of adding isotuximab, which is an anti-CD38 antibody, to the VRD platform. As you know, VRD, the combination of botulinumab, lanalidomide, and dexamethasone, is a very well established standard of care for both transplant eligible and transplant ineligible patients. And so we decided to add isotuximab to VRD for the treatment of transplant ineligible patients at the time of diagnosis. So the, the, the primary endpoint of the study was PFS. We, we randomly allocated 446 patients to either isatuximab VRD followed by isatuximab RD or VRD followed by RD. So 265 patients in the isatuximab arm and 181 in the, in the VRD arm. So the primary endpoint of PFS was met uh, at the median follow-up of five years the median PFS was not reached for the ISA VRD patients and was 54 months for the VRD patients. So the five-year PFS rate was 45% for VRD and 63% for ISA VRD. The hazard ratio was 0.59, representing a 40% reduction in the risk of progression of death. So that's a very impressive uh, study results for PFS. Uh, we must say that the, the VRD control arm did very well. It, it has been seen in the past, but not so frequently in this study population. So having a 54 months for median PFS of the VRD is very good. And the, the difference in terms of PFS was, uh, was very large in favor of ESA VRD. So that's the primary endpoint. Response rates were very uh, important as well for the ESA VRD patients. Uh, we, of course, we did MRD, uh, we assessed MRD negativity and, uh, and complete response or better was seen in, uh, in 75% of ESA VRD patients versus 64% of VRD patients. Uh, MRD negative CR was 65% for ESA VRD patients versus 41 for VRD patients. And, and most importantly, the, what we call sustained MRD negativity was almost doubled in the ESA VRD patients, moving from 24% to uh, 47%. I, I do believe that these results mean a lot for, for elderly patients below the age of 80 years. It's important to say that the study did not enroll patients over the age of 80 years. So the, the efficacy is, is strongly in favor of this four drug combination regimen for these patients. Uh, I, I, we must say also that the safety profile was uh, was was good, was uh, appropriate, was uh, very acceptable, um, and so uh, it this study will make this regimen uh, a new standard of care for elderly newly diagnosed multiple myeloma patients below the age of eight years.